the air quality improved for about a part of a decade. Uh, the air quality now is worsening again. And they said from the study that it could be associated with nearly 10,000, no less, premature deaths and billions of dollars in damages. This is an analysis by the federal government. You know that outfit called the EPA? This wasn't some left-wing aluminum foil-wearing outfit. This is the government's report. Find particulate matter in the air uh, we breathe in this country. That particulate matter uh, fell by 24% between 2009 and 2016. That was an improvement. But the concentrations of this particulate matter have increased about 5.5% in just two years. In just two years. And premature, and premature deaths that are associated with exposure to these particulate matter, to this particulate matter, <coughs> has hmm, spiked by 9,700 last year. That's a lot of people. That's, that's a lot of people. I mean, <laughs> it's the air you breathe, man. And here we are, people dying because of that. These deaths represent about $89 billion in damages. Uh, okay, it's a lot of money, but a human life is worth a lot more, in my opinion. The, what are the potential links here with early deaths and financial damages? Uh, they're alarming, they are. And um, there are also some other effects. Uh, of declining air quality that are they have a hard time trying to quantify but are negatively having an impact on people's lives. The, the authors of the report commented. They said, quote, I think the thing that people often overlook and that we don't have a great data on is the kid down the block who has asthma and whose asthma is getting worse. The person who has emphysema, for whom breathing is even harder, close quote. That was a comment by Carnegie Mellon professor, Dr. Karen Clay, who co-authored the paper. She said, quote, those, people, those people's lives are being made worse as well, close quote. Carnegie Mellon, by the way, is in Pittsburgh, up in Oakland, where I live. Um, and uh, right there, Carnegie, you have Carnegie Mellon, University of Pittsburgh. Down the road a piece is the universe, um, Duquesne University. You have uh, a couple of women's colleges that, in that area. It's remarkable. It's remarkable. And for those of you who are baseball fans, Oakland was where Forbes Field used to be. The Pirates played. I used to go watch Roberto Clemente play there. Boy. <laughs> it's right behind University of Pittsburgh. Long gone. Uh, nevertheless, this, the, this, this particulate, fine particulate matter literally is floating in the air that you breathe <coughs> and, measure, um, and measure barely a fraction of the diameter of a human hair. Imagine that. But despite that small of size, the particles are linked to cardiovascular and respiratory problems, especially in children and the elderly. Planet can be a dangerous place to live, just to get up and breathe, right? What are we doing? Everyone's raving about the newest botanical superstar hitting the store shelves nationwide. Hemp-derived cannabidiol, or CBD, has been receiving a lot of attention for its tremendous promise on human health. Plus, CBD Oil by CV Sciences is the trusted brand setting the standards in this newly emerging category of plant-based extracts, offering a variety of hemp-derived CBD oil products that you can count on. In order to make the highest quality CBD oil products available, it is important to manage every step of the supply chain process, from seed to shelf. 
That's why, from harvesting our EU-certified hemp seeds, to laboratory testing for quality and safety, to producing our exceptional line of products, we are committed to going the extra mile. It is our commitment to you. Join the CBD evolution. Ask your local natural health retailer about Plus CBD oil products by CB Sciences today. Follow us on Facebook and learn more at pluscbdoil.com. Michael Garka, host of Let's Talk Nutrition on this station. You can get more information about the show on my website at letstalknutrition.com. That's letstalknutrition.com. Let's Talk Nutrition on this station. If you want to find out more about the show, visit my website at letstalknutrition.com. That's letstalknutrition.com. Garka, host of Let's Talk Nutrition on this station. You can get more information about the show on my website at letstalknutrition.com. That's letstalknutrition.com. host of Let's Talk Nutrition on this station. You can get more information about the show on my website at letstalknutrition.com. That's letstalknutrition.com. Michael Garko, and you're listening to Let's Talk Nutrition on this station. If you want to find out more about the show, visit my website at letstalknutrition.com. That's letstalknutrition.com. Garko, and you're listening to Let's Talk Nutrition on this station. If you want to find out more about the show, visit my website at letstalknutrition.com. That's letstalknutrition.com.
Let's Talk Nutrition is brought to you by Jaro Formulas, superior nutrition and formulation. Natural factors where great health begins. Kyolic, aging makes the finest garlic truly odorless. Celsius, live fit. Flora, 100 years of herbal wisdom. Let's Talk Nutrition on the web at letstalknutrition.com. We're back from the break, so let's rejoin Dr. Michael Garko. Dr. Kate Roam is our guest today. I'll bring her on in just one moment. I just want to get to this one story I, I thought you would want to know. Uh, trans fats, you know, you would think that we've got this problem solved, but not so much, apparently. Trans, trans fatty acids, trans fats short, short. Trans fatty acids, uh, that, that's a type of unsaturated fat. You'll find it naturally occurring in meat and milk, uh, milk fat. <clears throat> However, uh, it can be industrially created too. You'll find it in uh, uh, vegetable and fish oils. In the early part of the 20th century, it was a big deal. Um, uh, and you'll find it in margarine. Uh, then they start using it in snack food, packaged baked goods, uh, and then they deep frying. <clears throat> and it gives a, take, a texture to the food and, and whatnot. And I won't get into what makes it um, the business about double bonds, unsaturated, saturated, cis or trans, uh, that'll, that'll numb you into not listening to me. <laughs> the, the main point I want to make, there's a story trending. Alzheimer's risk uh, may be 75% higher for people who consume these trans fatty acids or trans fats. Uh, this is according to a new study published uh, yesterday in the journal Neurology. Quote, Dr. Neelam uh, Agarwal said, this study demonstrate that, demonstrates that there are negative brain cognitive outcomes in the addition to known cardiovascular outcomes that are related to the diet that has a high content of trans fats. <coughs> You're going to find these trans fats in a lot of these processed foods. Yet one more thing to worry about. Um, I, I bring it to your attention. Uh, I won't get into the details on the study. I just wanted to see, check, read the labels, read the food labels. Do not buy products that are hydrogenated. That's, that's the word you need to look for, and then you'll see, or trans fats on the, on the ingredients, or and you look for the word hydrogenated, and they're adding hydrogens and whatnot. Getting rid of double bonds. Bad news. Don't do it. Not worth it. Not worth it. Put it down. Walk away. Dr. Kate Rom is my guest. Uh, Dr. Kate, as I told you, uh, has been a regular guest on the show. My only issue with that woman is that she doesn't show up enough. Uh, <laughs> I wish she were on more. Uh, I, I, as I said, she's always uh, prepared, always has uh, things lined up, and just, you know, she's a naturopathic physician, but she brings that perspective to the conversation, and she's an educator. Uh, among other things, for uh, natural factors, you know, she's a clinician, she gives talks, she gives lectures. Uh, you can find her. Uh, you'll see her on YouTube. I saw a couple of lectures that she was doing in a store somewhere, um, you know, just working in the trench. Dr. Kate, welcome back to the show. It's great to have you on. Thank you. Good morning. And I'm really fascinated to hear that study you were talking about. Yeah. I hadn't heard it yet. And mm -hmm. of course, you know, my interest in Alzheimer's because my dad had it and I'm trying to do everything I can to protect it. And there were decades when my parents believed the whole saturated fat problem. And so they switched to margarine and they were eating margarine all the time. So that, all of that trans fat did not help my dad's brain. No, poor thing. Uh, food has consequences. I know that that's an obvious thing to say, but isn't it curious? And you've seen this in practice how the obvious escapes us and people, and sometimes they're just unaware. Your parents were trying, they thought they were doing a good thing. And it was, prob it, they, would, they would have been better off not to do that, right? Yes, exactly. You know, they, they switched to what was considered to be, the, you know, the advice of the time, which was based on, as we know now, pretty shaky science. But, you know, there were still some people that said, you know, this margarine, this is not what my grandparents and great grandparents and everybody before them ate. And there were there are people who stuck with it based on that kind of logic. 
and mm-hmm. um, you know my, my parents weren't one of those. They just they were thought they were doing the right thing. Yeah. And we yeah lots of trans fats growing up, and sure my parents would have been eating that for decades. Yeah. You know, <clears throat> science works for us, and science works against us. Those trans fats were created. I mean, they give food a better texture and whatnot. Uh, you know, consistency and all the reason shelf life and whatever else they're doing, uh, why they're doing it. And it, you know, these food scientists, uh, you know, I don't know. These companies hire them by, you know, the hundreds. They work for them. And they do good things and they do things that are to the detriment of the, of the, of the public's health. But I'm just saying. Uh, yeah, when it's that close and personal, that was your dad, man. That, that was your dad. And you had to watch that, experience that. It's, it's, a, it's an issue. It's not just some chemical compound. It was your, <laughs> it was your dad's life. Uh, so I get it. I appreciate you sharing that. How are you doing? I'm doing very well, thanks. Good. I Glad saw- to be back. And I have some news to share. Good. I'm going to see you in Anaheim this year. Oh, my God. Well, hopefully I can make it. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're going to be there. Uh, God willing. After all these years. Uh, somebody told me that you were going to be coming to Tampa and you were going to be in studio. Uh, I, maybe you didn't even know about that. Uh, in December? I guess. I don't know. You're supposed to be around here at some point in time. And I said, I, I, I thought they were teasing me because they know I always ask where you are. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I heard that was a possibility for December. It sounds like you may have the scoop that confirmed before I do. Uh, so I didn't want to say anything about that, but I, I'm pretty sure that's the trip. Well, we'll see. Well, we, we, well, we invite you. You're always invited, as you well know. Uh, Thank you. I saw a video of you. Uh, I had I had to smile <clears throat> because um, there are a lot of things about this kind of work that are just it's just hard work, and it's not real glamorous. And that's like going into a store and giving a lecture on, and you had your your slides or whatever you were it was natural fa- factors products and you were giving a lecture and i was i watched that and i and i had to smile i said i said that lady is you know this isn't hollywood she's in some store someplace <laughs> having to work she had to travel to get there was uh, there a noisy bank of refrigerators behind me that i was trying to talk over i don't i, rec- I don't recall <laughs> could very well be but there you were uh and people interested in hearing what you had to say and you're, you're educating people, you know, it wasn't Yankee Stadium filled with tens of thousands of people. It was probably maybe 30 people in the audience. I don't know how many or whatever. And there you were working, uh, trying to help them, teach them, educate them, to make better choices. I, I have a lot of regard for that. You know, it's not very glamorous, but it's still good work, right? Well, yes, thank you. And it is a way to, to reach people that are interested in, you know, pursuing steps to take charge of their own health, and yet they're confused and overwhelmed with conflicting information they may be finding online, especially, you know, this would have been an audience that certainly, uh, if they're Canadians, they may not necessarily know of good, reliable sources of information like your show, and so there's just different ways to reach people. About one percent, Katie will tell you, what is it, one percent in Canada, Katie? Less than one percent, yep. And we got 15 percent in Australia that listen to this show. I go, go figure that out. We're, we got a neighbor, you know, right north to us. And yeah. All right. We'll be back. Feel tired, lethargic, or irritable? Take solace. You're one of millions of Americans that has trouble falling asleep or staying asleep. In fact, according to a national survey, 54% of adults have trouble sleeping. So what can you do about it? Take Solace. Solace is an all-natural dietary supplement formulated to support healthy sleep and relaxation. Solace can help you fall asleep and stay asleep naturally. Formulated with all-natural ingredients, Solace is non-addictive and won't leave you feeling groggy in the morning. Take Solace an hour before bed and feel the calming effects of this extended Extensively researched sleep and relaxation aid. For more information on Solace, call toll free 877 533 7066 or visit takesolace.com. That's 877 533 7066 or take solus.com. Look for Solace in your local health and nutrition store. Solace for a good night's rest naturally. Everybody knows that it's easier said than done to take charge of your health. 
Now taking charge of your health has been made a little easier with Ancient Nutrition. Ancient Nutrition's whole food nutritional products provide ancient nutrients in a modern, convenient form to power the body and mind while restoring health, strength, and vitality comparable to that of our ancient ancestors. Among their healthy nutrition supplements, Ancient Nutrition offers a line of bone broth protein powders formulated for high performance. Bone broth is a breakthrough in protein supplementation. It delivers the benefits of homemade bone broth in a convenient, easy to mix form. Try all eight delicious flavors, dark chocolate, banana cream, cinnamon apple, salted caramel, pumpkin spice, s'mores, coffee, and French vanilla. Ancient Nutrition products are sold in fine health stores across the country. Visit ancientnutrition.com to learn more about Ancient Nutrition for a modern world. That's ancientnutrition.com. The latest trend to hit the store shelves has the whole country buzzing. Cannabidiol, or CBD, might just be the greatest discovery of our generation. And it comes from a plant that is not so new, agricultural hemp. Yes, after 70 years of prohibition and misunderstanding, hemp is back to help you stay healthy and balanced. Growing research is showing that we have a lot to learn from the remarkable hemp plant. Nutrient-rich products like Plus CBD Oil's Total Plant Complex concentrated products provide broad-spectrum nutrition, including fatty acids, plant sterols, cannabinoids, terpenes, and naturally occurring vitamin E. From seed to shelf, all Plus CBD Oil products provide the highest quality hemp-derived CBD products available and are offered in a variety of delivery systems and flavors to suit your needs. Ask your local independent health food store about Plus CBD Oil products by CB Sciences today and learn more about the CBD evolution at pluscbdoil.com. That's pluscbdoil.com. Nutrition.com. Michael Garka, host of Let's Talk Nutrition on this station. You can get more information about the show on my website at letstalknutrition.com. That's letstalknutrition.com. Let's Talk Nutrition on this station. If you want to find out more about the show, visit my website at letstalknutrition.com. That's letstalknutrition.com. Michael Garka, host of Let's Talk Nutrition on this station. You can get more information. Let's Talk Nutrition is brought to you by CV Sciences, from seed to shelf. Form Essentials, makers of the Sleep Aid Solace. Natural Factors, where great health begins. New Chapter, the benefit of nature's wisdom. Yerba Prima, pioneers in internal cleansing. Flora, 100 years of herbal wisdom. Let's Talk Nutrition, on the web at letstalknutrition.com. We're back from the break, so let's rejoin Dr. Michael Garko. Dr. Kate Roam is our guest today. Uh, Dr. Kate's a na uh, naturopathic physician, educator for Natural Factors. I just put a button on that one study I was reporting on about the consumption of trans fats and increase uh, in Alzheimer's. Uh, in that study, there were 1,628 men and, um, and women 
uh, 60 years of age and older, they were free of dementia uh, at the beginning of the study. It was a longitudinal study. Over 10 years, 377 of those individuals developed some sort of dementia. By the way, uh, trans fats are not only bad for the brain, they're bad for your heart uh, in that they increase um, uh, LDL, low-density lipoprotein. Uh, by the way, L- low-density lip- fat cannot travel. It needs a bus. These li- low-density lipoproteins and whatnot, they transport the fat. So they call LDL cholesterol. It's not cholesterol. It's a low-density lipoprotein that carries cholesterol. And, yeah, I'm just telling you, technically, and it increases that, which is not good for your heart. So it's bad for your brain, bad for your heart. That's all. I'm done. Dr. Kate, welcome back. <laughs> I just had I had just had to round that out a little bit. Uh, you know, there was a time uh, trans fats and foods was um, so commonplace. It's gotten better, but it's still around. And I just wanted to bring it to the audience's attention. Uh, what did you want to serve for dinner? Well, I have. In the last few weeks, it seems, just had so many people talking to me about their sleep problems. Hmm. (laughs) Um, You know, difficulty getting to sleep, difficulty staying asleep, waking every two hours, waking at three in the morning, um, waking too early, waking unrefreshed, and it's affecting people's quality of life, as well as a number of people I've spoken to who seem to be turning to supposedly herbal products that are having some strange side effects, Um, and so we we wonder really what's in these. And so, I don't know, I just, sleep has been on my mind because every other person that I talk to is is talking about how it's, you know, they're just not sleeping. You recall, uh, Reggie and uh, Katie, you recall what I said to, uh, I don't know if you were listening to my off-air conversation yesterday with your friend, your colleague in the studio yesterday, Katie? I didn't know. I didn't hear the off-air conversation. Reggie no. did. What what product did I tell her I liked a lot? Do you remember? I said it had three ingredients in it. You remember? I remember you gave her a couple of options. I know we were. Do you talking- remember me saying Tranquil Sleep? Yes, I do remember that. Yeah. Yeah, and I we told was- her I said that's a great product. You should. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I we were talking about this yesterday. We had a a person in the studio. Um, it was spontaneous. It was having issues uh, with sleep and weight and whatnot. And, she was willing to come on air and share that using her as a case study. Appreciated that. And I mentioned Tranquil Sleep uh, from Natural Flac- Factors. That's a great product, Dr. Kate. I've, I've used it, uh, not because I have insomnia. I just got better sleep with it. Yes, uh, same here, as well as for, you know, occasional or frequent, you know, ongoing sleep issues. There are different types of sleep problems, and there are different Uh, underlying factors to sleep problems. We don't always know exactly what those are. It can be a bit of a mystery. Uh, But for sure, the tranquil sleep is one option that I tend to, it tends to be my first resort because of the, it's a simple formula, like you said, three ingredients. And it addresses getting to sleep, which is not always a matter of fatigue. People can be tired, but still can't fall asleep because they can't shut their mind down. Mm. And so that's such an important factor. So this, the tranquil sleep includes L-theanine, which on its own doesn't cause drowsiness, but it will calm your mind down, like, you know, turn off that hamster in the wheel uh, so you can get to sleep. And that's really important. And then a little bit of melatonin. Of course, we know melatonin is a sleep hormone. Um, You, you know, you don't need much, although the amount that people do need and benefit from varies quite a bit. (laughs) <laughs> and then a little bit of 5-HTP, not the large dose that you would normally find in, say, a, a, a product just that's just 5-HTP for mood, you know, depression, low mood, but just a really small amount that helps you, as the night goes on, make your own melatonin and serotonin. I just wanted to confess real quick. Yeah. I don't know if I'm – see, my problem is I don't know if I'm having a problem sleeping or if I'm having a t- problem finding the hours in which to sleep. That's probably – it's probably, a little bit probably of both. A little, probably a little bit of both, and it becomes a vicious cycle. Uh, uh, sure. fit, you, know, you don't get, Dr. Kate will expand upon this. It, not getting enough s- sleep is a stress event. 
But I feel like I'm. I feel like even when I do get home and I am able to go to sleep, yeah. Like when I get done with the show, and if I go home and if I want to take a nap right then, yeah. I have a hard time winding down to get to well, sleep. Well, you should. You should. You might consider tranquil sleep. It. Uh, that's like in a little wafer, right, Doctor Kate? That's mm-hmm. where I. That's right. Chewable. Chewable. It comes in a pill form, but I like the chewable better. Maybe five minutes before you go to sleep. Don't do anything else. Don't take it and then go. You know. Yeah. <laughs> you take it. You know. Let it dissolve. And you'll. What I experienced was you fall asleep quicker, mm. and your sleep tends to be a little deeper. Dreams are a little bit more vivid, uh, and you wake up more restful. That's my experience. That's anecdotal, but take it for what it's worth. You might That's try. That's absolutely the case. That's exactly how it works. Now, if you're talking about taking a nap during the day, and exactly that, you're not able to wind down. That's not the time for tranquil sleep since it contains melatonin, but the other ingredient in there, the L-theanine, it's available on its own in a, in a product called Mental Calmness, and that will help you calm your mind down so you can take a nap. If you're truly tired, you should be able to sleep if you can turn your mind, you know, quiet it enough. And so the L-theanine during the day uh, for focus, for concentration, or if you just want to calm your mind down so you can, you know, grab, you know, 20 minutes of sleep or whatever it is, uh, that's the, that's the choice at that time. Stress and um, poor sleep are correlated, as you know, Doctor Kate, uh, because of the cortisol. Uh, you build up an inventory of cortisol by the end of the day if you're under stress all day. That cortisol disrupts the sleep architecture, doesn't it? Oh, absolutely. You're, you're going to be lagging. You're not producing enough cortisol in the morning, so you're feeling sluggish when you wake up, having difficulty getting up and going. And then if that you know, cortisol is too high later in the day when it's supposed to be declining, then you get this tired and wired syndrome where you can't unwind, and you may have that um, sort of light, unrefreshing, frequently interrupted sleep where you just feel like you never got that good deep sleep. Yeah, did you catch that alliteration, tired and wired? That's cool. We'll have to remember that, right? You're tired and wired. How many people walking around are tired and wired? 877-897-8255, toll free. Uh, All right. We're headed into uh, top of the hour here. Man, gosh, caught me off guard. Quick. We'll come back. Uh, Dr. Kate uh, Blue Roam will be with us. And uh, always, as I told you, she's very good at what she does. And uh, you'll learn a lot. I always learn something from her when she's on the show. We'll continue our conversation with her. We're going to talk about sleep and related matters. Good sleep, good health, good life. We'll be back. LTN Coast to Coast and Globally. Are you tired of being tired? So was Amanda until she tried Floridix Iron and Herbs. You can probably relate. Between juggling her job and family, she was constantly exhausted. She put off going to the gym and making her dinner every night seemed like a heroic task. Then she found out she had the most common nutritional deficiency in the U.S., iron deficiency. Amanda turned to Floridix, an easily absorbed plant-based liquid iron supplement. For over 60 years, Floridix has been helping reduce exhaustion and fatigue caused by iron deficiency. This formula is easy on the digestive tract and free of artificial colors and flavors. It even has vitamins B and C for enhanced absorption. No wonder it's the best-selling iron supplement in North America. Floravital provides all the same benefits as Floradix, but without gluten or yeast. Reclaim your energy with Floradix and Floravital, available at your local health food store. For more information, visit florahealth.com forward slash Floradix. Florahealth.com forward slash Floradix. The ever-increasing stress and toxicity we are exposed to from our environment, diets, and lifestyles make internal cleansing a necessary part of a good health regimen. Founded in 1980, Yerba Prima was the first company to launch a whole-body internal cleansing kit. Since that time, they have continued to develop and manufacture a complete range of all-natural, high-quality fiber and internal cleansing products. By using all-natural psyllium fiber and no harmful stimulant laxatives, all Yerba Prima fiber and internal cleansing products can be used over a long period of time to ensure optimal health and regularity. With nearly 30 years dedicated to all-natural cleansing products, it's easy to see why Yerba Prima is a leader in the fiber and cleansing products category. Learn more at YerbaPrima.com, Y-E-R-B-A-P-R-I-M-A.com, or visit your local health retailer. Yerba Prima, pioneer in internal cleansing products. This is Dr. 
Dr. Michael Garka, host of Let's Talk Nutrition on this station. You can get more information about the show on my website at letstalknutrition.com. That's letstalknutrition.com. on this station. If you want to find out more about the show, visit my website at letstalknutrition.com. That's letstalknutrition.com. Garka, host of Let's Talk Nutrition on this station. You can get more information about the show on my website at letstalknutrition.com. That's letstalknutrition.com. Let's Talk Nutrition on this station. You can get more information about the show on my website at letstalknutrition.com. That's letstalknutrition.com. Michael Garko and you're listening to Let's Talk Nutrition on this station. If you want to find out more about the show, visit my website at letstalknutrition.com. That's letstalknutrition.com. Garko and you're listening to Let's Talk Nutrition on this station. If you want to find out more about the show, visit my website at letstalknutrition.com. That's letstalknutrition.com. Garka, host of Let's Talk Nutrition on this station. You can get more information about the show on my website at letstalknutrition.com. That's letstalknutrition.com. Let's Talk Nutrition on this station. If you want to find out more about the show, visit my website at letstalknutrition.com. That's letstalknutrition.com. This is 
Dr. Michael Garka, host of Let's Talk Nutrition on this station. You can get more information about the show on my website at letstalknutrition.com. That's letstalknutrition.com. host of Let's Talk Nutrition on this station. You can get more information about the show on my website at letstalknutrition.com. That's letstalknutrition.com. Michael Garko, and you're listening to Let's Talk Nutrition on this station. If you want to find out more about the show, visit my website at letstalknutrition.com. That's letstalknutrition.com. broadcast regarding products or the claims made about specific products have not been evaluated by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. Products and treatments discussed are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent disease. Make your physician aware of all nutritional supplements used and immediately notify your physician if you have any health concern or undiagnosed sign or symptom. Let's Talk Nutrition is a health talk show that features scientists, authors, nutrition specialists, personal trainers, holistic healers, and experts in traditional, natural, and integrative medicine. Listen for a chance to win daily prizes and follow Let's Talk Nutrition on Facebook and Instagram at Let's Talk Nutrition or on Twitter at LTN Radio. It's time for some inspiration. Tune in to get fit and healthy. It's time to talk about nutrition. Nutrition for your body, your mind, your spirit. It's time to talk about proper exercise, stress relief, eating well, and supplementation to help. Get ready to take charge of your health because your health is your wealth and the wealth of those who care about and love you. It's time for Let's Talk Nutrition with Dr. Michael Garko. Welcome to the show. And welcome to Let's Talk Nutrition. Thanks for tuning in today. Uh, Dr. Kate Roam is our guest educator from Natural Factors and uh, talking about sleep. It uh, comes up all the time. <laughs> you know, uh, diet and lifestyle, diet and lifestyle. I, sometimes you'll have writers, researchers, whatever, whomever, uh, they'll put in lifestyle, they'll throw in diet. I tease them out because we want to put a spotlight on food and nutrition. Um, but your lifestyle implicates so many different variables and fact, or factors, sleep, exercise, relationships, uh, so, you know, where you live, um, and so on. Uh, so sleep is one of those lifestyle, considered a lifestyle factor or variable, if you want to call it that. And it's interesting. Uh, people will, it doesn't take long to experience the deleterious effects of sleep deprivation. Uh, it just doesn't. Why? Well, if you look <laughs> at our history over the course of, evolution, uh, we naturally selected to sleep, and for good reason. You know, it, it, it's, it's a, a mir miraculous design. Uh, sleep is restorative in so many and different ways, and it's a, this is obvious even to the most uninterested person in health and wellness. They understand you got to get your sleep. Everybody gets that. Sleep deprivation, sleep insufficiency, insomnia, all these kinds of issues are um, really prevalent and characteristic of modern life. Uh, and people taking some pride in saying, I only, I only have to sleep three hours a night. My response to that has always been, oh, I see. 
So you're so biologically special, right? Straight up. You got to be. You, <laughs> you're, you're really biologically, you're an exception, right? Yeah, I don't think so. Um, you will, you, <laughs> insufficient sleep is related to, so, and, and I'm not, my opinion, it's not my opinion, I'm just telling you what the science is. Everything from weight gain to I mean, ill health in so many ways, I, it's ridiculous. And people, that, that, that's a common, the two things I hear a lot, the questions I get, how can I get more energy, how can I have more, be more energized, and how can I get better sleep? I wish I had, I'll take a dollar for every time I've been asked about those, the, I've been asked those questions. That, it's on people's mind. And then, they, then the third question, I, not necessarily in the, the out of order, but is what kind of diet would you recommend? <laughs> and they want me to just stand there and give them an answer to that. right? On, and I say, I, it's hard for me to answer that question. I have to sit and chat with you for a little bit. Um, and they look at me, well, can't you just tell me what I need to eat? I could tell you what I, you know, what I, I can give you my recommendation on in terms of what I consider a healthy diet, but whether or not that's fit for you. But they want you to literally draw them out a diet plan. Yeah, I mean, yeah. How, how, what should I eat? What should I eat? I can, I can tell you in a word what you shouldn't eat. Let's start with that. There you go. And then, we, you know, so I get these questions all the time. And we answer them on the air, and I say, my, here's my answer now. I caught on. Listen, to, listen or watch my show. Deal with this almost all the time. Sooner or later, we'll hit on it, and you'll get your answer, at least partially. And that's why we have guests such as Dr. Kate Roam on to answer these questions uh, and to address them in some sensible, informed way. Let's go to Tampa, Florida to take a call. Bill, welcome to the show. Good morning, doctor. There's one thing that supersedes everything that you're talking about when it comes to sleep. And that is? And that is you have to stop putting things in your mouth at 6 o'clock or 5 o'clock in the <laughs> afternoon. Well. If you will do that, well, you will have a much better chance. That's hard. Uh, you know, I grew up in a European family, and although we ate dinner at 5 o'clock, I, I can tell you that. My, my mom, it was like clockwork, man. And it was 5 o'clock, you know, and we all sat down. At the, those were back in the day. That's, that's a while back. But it, for, I'm, I'm guilty of eating later. My daughter always says to me, Dad, what are you doing, man? What are you, how can you eat that late? It's, I said, it's only 8 o'clock. <laughs> and you're right. I, I agree with you 100%. But I'm, I'm, I violate that rule all the time, Bill. If you must eat some meal, if you're out to dinner or whatever and you have to, take a digestive, you know, some of your sponsors have great digestive enzymes. Take one with you and take it. Yeah. Just helping it along. But you can't have that little factory going and expect to have a sound sleep. Just, well, I know. I mean, most I, Americans I, eat up to the second they fall asleep. I get it. No, th that I don't do. That I don't do. Uh, there'll be at least two hours after I've finished my dinner before I go to bed, at least that. So I, that's a good recommendation. I hear you. I'm a violator. I admit it. And uh, I always can count on you. to. <laughs> I appreciate your comments, Bill. Thank you for calling. Thanks, Doc. You're, you're welcome. Dr. Kate, welcome back. Great to have you back on. Always good to be here. Yeah. Um. Would you, could, hmm. I, would you consider um, the way you live your life day to day, day in and day out? You know, I always, I always say, I'm reminded what the nuns taught me. The, the, the phrase would appear on my, or the statement would appear on my papers and my report card, room for improvement. <laughs> <laughs> and I swore if I ever get a tattoo, I'll, I, that'll be one of my tattoos, room for improvement. Uh, <laughs> if you had to improve your diet or your lifestyle, is there one thing you would really zero in on? Well, yes, I agree. There's always room for improvement. I live that way. That's a, a, one of my mottos, too. I try to follow the 80-20 rule. You know, 80% of the time, it's really good. 20% of the time, it's whatever. 
20 20 20 percent of the time you're robbing banks is that what you're doing <laughs> <laughs> my, my alter ego um but maybe that that 80 20 slides into 70 30 or 60 40 it's you know it's busyness uh will take away from eating probably as many vegetables as i'd love i just feel really good when i eat lots of greens and sometimes yeah. there's you know, don't always have time for that. Do you cook? I I do cook. And again, busyness can, can rob me of that. I don't cook as much or as often as I want. But mm -hmm. I do try. Uh, we always, I mean, as you know, we've talked about this before. I sit down with the boys every night for dinner. Yeah. And yes, we will. I'll, I'll, obviously, we'll be cooking then. That's a nice um, That's a nice thing for you to do. Uh, sit with your boys and have dinner. I, uh, that. That's meaningful. Uh, that's part of lifestyle, and it does contribute to health in many different ways. Uh, that that was common practice years ago. Not so much these days, I don't think. Not as much. Not as much. I don't know if that's your oh, option. No, that has fallen by the wayside a lot. Again, due to busy lifestyles, you know, many kids are enrolled in activities. Uh, there's, there's lots of reasons for it. Yeah, there are. Uh, so, in your in your notes, I know you probably have some notes and whatnot. I know I, I think I think I know a little bit about you, and I know you're always so prepared. You're not just winging it here. Uh, in your notes, what do you have that you wanted to serve up? Well, you know, it, it's interesting because we were talking before about you know the being tired and wired, and about how if you're looking to take a nap, for example, and you, you can't wind down, uh, and then there's there's a whole other conversation about if you're having sleep problems, whether naps are a good idea. But when I mentioned before that L-theanine, um, that is, of course, something that doesn't cause drowsiness, but it will help calm your mind down. And that is helpful as well for anxiety because you know, anxiety isn't something I don't think we have discussed very much. And anxiety in general, but as well among kids, has come up a lot. Mm -hmm. And, of course, there's different factors to that that need to be addressed. But that L-theanine is something I have used in, in children and adults that can be so, so helpful for that. And anxiety, of course, can interfere with... We'll be right back. Ridgecrest Herbal's original Clear Lung Supplement has been the number one selling natural product for lung health since 1998. Clear Lung's formula is a synergistic blend of Chinese herbs that helps maintain open airways and balanced mucus levels. It combines the healing properties of 13 perfectly balanced herbs that have been used in traditional Chinese medicine for over 2,000 years. Need extra help? Try Ridgecrest Herbal's Clear Lung's Extra Strength with twice the herbs and Ridgecrest Herbal's patented Avela Blend formula designed to support the bio availability of the original 13 herbs. Got a picky kid who doesn't like pills? Clear Lungs Liquid is safe for children and has a naturally sweet orange flavoring. And don't forget to check out Clear Lungs Immune and Clear Lungs Sport. Visit rcherbals.com or call 1-800-242-4649 and mention this ad to order the right Clear Lungs product for you. That's 1-800-242-4649. Is getting a good night's sleep a challenge? Fortunately, there's a superior fast-acting sleep formula called Tranquil Sleep from Natural Factors. This non-habit-forming supplement contains a unique combination of melatonin, 5-HTP, and L-theanine, which works in harmony with your body's natural sleep hormones. Tranquil Sleep can help you fall asleep, stay asleep, sleep sounder, and wake up refreshed all without feeling drowsy in the morning. The key benefit comes from increasing the time spent in the deeper stages of sleep. It's only in these deeper levels of sleep that we truly experience the rejuvenation, regeneration, and recuperation that sleep provides. Even if you think you get a good night's sleep, give Tranquil Sleep a try. You might be surprised with how much better you've slept by waking up with more energy and enthusiasm to start your day. Learn more at naturalfactors.com. Let's talk nutrition.com. That's let's talk nutrition.com. Dr. 
Dr. Michael Garka, host of Let's Talk Nutrition on this station. You can get more information about the show on my website at letstalknutrition.com. That's letstalknutrition.com. Nutrition on this station. If you want to find out more about the show, visit my website at letstalknutrition.com. That's letstalknutrition.com. Garka, host of Let's Talk Nutrition on this station. You can get more information about the show on my website at Let's Talk Nutrition is brought to you by American Biotech Labs, your daily immune system support. Ridgecrest Herbals, take your health to a higher elevation. Ancient Nutrition, nutrition for a modern world. New chapter, the benefit of nature's wisdom. Jaro Formulas, superior nutrition and formulation. Let's Talk Nutrition, on the web at letstalknutrition.com. We're back from the break, so let's rejoin Dr. Michael Garko. According to the uh, Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, about a third of uh, the U.S. adult population doesn't, does not get enough sleep. Uh, there are different it, health sleep disorders. Insomnia is most uh, prevalent here and for our conversation and, and relevant. But there's also narcolepsy, and then you have RL, RLS, restless, restless leg syndrome. You might even see some commercials on TV. For narcolepsy certain. is where you randomly fall asleep, right? Where you just fall it's a, asleep. It's, a, it's an excessive uh, daytime uh, sleepiness uh, with combined, um, like you have the sudden muscle weakness. Uh, those are the hallmark signs. Um, narco, you, know, you have episodes of narco, narcolepsy have been described as what they call sleep attacks. I've heard of it before, but I've never met someone with narcolepsy, but I have heard of it. I actually have. He really? fell asleep eating an apple. Yeah, you can be you know, uh, may occur in unusual circumstances, these sleep attacks, such as walking. Dangerous. And, and other, yeah, dr you know, how about driving? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they wouldn't let him get his license. Exactly. He, he couldn't get his license. Yeah, so, you know, these are the kinds of sleep-related issues. But insomnia is really something that occupies our attention on the show a lot. And it's characterized by an inability to get to sleep, maintain sleep. Uh, you'll wake up too early, and then you have a hard time going back to sleep. It's a mess. I feel bad because when I was younger, I didn't think insomnia was a real thing. I remember dating someone and he used to say, I can't sleep. I have insomnia. And I used to just roll my eyes and be like, okay, you're go to sure sleep. You do. You're a, you're a sissy. And right. then I grew up and I was like, oh, wow, that is a real thing. Yeah, it is a real thing, yeah, Katie. I had no idea when I was a kid. I really thought it was just something people, it was a word people made up for staying no. up late. No. <laughs> no. Yeah, I didn't, did. I didn't. I'd never seen anybody narcoleptic before. Until yeah, it's, it's not pleasant. And it's. Yeah, it's dangerous. So these are the things that people have to deal with day in and day out. Insomnia is across the land, and that's why Dr. Kate Roam is on the show today. Dr. Kate, welcome back. I, uh, I came across this. i will get your reaction to this. They were talking about um, some of the risk factors for, uh, for insufficient sleep or insomnia, and this was the list. I'll just quote it. Being female... Being over the age of 60, having depression or anxiety, okay, tra have, frequently traveling long distances, being under a great deal of stress, working night shifts. It was the first variable, being female. Uh, do you associate insomnia with more, uh, more, it's more gender specific? Definitely. Do you see more sleep problems in women, uh, more insomnia Why? for sure? Why do you think? 
That's a great question that we don't 100% understand. Hormones, hormones play a role. Hormo- I said you read. You, you beat me to the punch. Hormones. Uh-huh. I was going to say hormones. Is that it? Yeah. Hormones. Yes. But I think those play a role in you know predictable as well as unpredictable ways. I think women also tend to be more worriers. And worrying, you know, like you mentioned there, one on the list, anxiety and worrying will interfere with sleep. And so there's direct and indirect factors. And, and of course, hormones can directly interfere yeah. with sleep. Um, but we see that more on the 3 o'clock awakenings versus the difficulty getting to sleep yeah. or the other types of insomnia. Maybe it's uh, being married to men. How about that? Maybe that's what's causing <laughs> the pro- <laughs> problem. No, I'm just kidding. Possibly who are snoring. Oh, yeah. Well, that's another story. That uh, is a problem. That, that yeah. Is another story. Sleep apnea. Uh, they had, that was an interesting, uh, they had an interesting list of variables for that, too. Um, for, uh, yeah, let me see if I can, yeah, here we go. Sleep apnea. Being male, being over the age of 40, being overweight, having a family history of sleep apnea, having a neck size of 17 inches or greater, and having chronic sinus problems or a deviated septum. That what that caught my attention was having a neck size of 17 inches or greater. That's interesting. Why physiologically explain, Dr. Fate? Oh, that's just simply a weight and gravity. Once you're lying down, yeah. you have that much neck size, that much weight. It's pressing back uh, on your, your airways. It, so it's, you know, it's, it's simply a matter of gravity and, and uh, a physical aspect of blockage in the sleep passage. Sleep apnea is a, truly a, th- uh, one has to be very concerned about that, chronic sleep apnea. I mean, that is associated with um, a premature uh, death, is it not? I mean, that it gets correlated with death at some point, yeah? Oh, absolutely. It is a factor in cardiovascular disease, but as well, when you're looking at sleep apnea, you are looking at transient periods of lack of oxygen to the brain. That is not good on a number of levels. Now, what are the machines? Aren't there sleep app machines? Yeah. yeah. What do they do? What, what do they the do, Dr. Kate? They force air into the breathing passage to force that breathing passage to stay open. So you could call it you know, a Band-Aid solution. It's not treating the underlying cause of what's causing the apnea, but keeping the oxygen flowing is critical. You, you know, Some people with sleep apnea are losing oxygen to their brain 20, 30, 40 times or more per night. 877-897-8255. Natural factors, have, we, we talked about this several times before. The stress relax line, uh, the, the sleep product, you know, Tranquil Sleep is in there. L-theanine is in that line. Uh, that's a great, you'll find that if you go to naturalfactors.com, you'll see that. It's a stress relax line. That, that's a great uh, collection or constellation of supplements to help with stress. Stress and sleep, go, they often end up in the same sentence, right, Dr. Kate? Oh, absolutely. Stress will, you know, immediately interfere with cortisol, as we were saying before, which can interfere with sleep. It can get your mind going excessively, which, as we're also talking about, interfering with sleep. Uh, There's so many different ways that can impact your sleep. Then, of course, if you're not sleeping well, then it can add to your stress. And then there's the issue of sleep hygiene. You know, um, that doesn't mean washing your hands before you go to bed. That means, (laughs) or your face, it means the room. Uh, Dark, no lights, no LED lights, cold, uh, good mattress, and so on. All of those things play a part two. Come back. We'll continue our conversation with Dr. Kate, Coast to Coast and Globally. Have you experienced the wisdom of nature with Zyflamend Whole Body from New Chapter? Zyflamend is a 10 herb blend that delivers three health benefits. First, Zyflamend is an herbal approach to pain relief, helping to soothe minor pain or soreness. Second, Zyflamend is a joint supplement with time-tested herbs to support joint function and flexibility. And the third benefit, Zyflamend supports the body's healthy inflammation response, something that's essential for maintaining whole body health. Zyflamend is New Chapter's clinically tested blend of 10 remarkable herbs, including pure and potent turmeric, ginger, and green tea. Zyflamend is non-GMO, project verified, gluten-free, and 100% vegetarian. New Chapter is a leader in supplement quality. Every ingredient, every product, every time. 
Discover Zyflamin, new chapters, number one selling multi-herbal. Zyflamin is made with ginger for occasional pain relief after exercise. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Dr. Michael Garka, host of Let's Talk Nutrition on this station. You can get more information about the show on my website at letstalknutrition.com. That's letstalknutrition.com. Let's Talk Nutrition on this station. If you want to find out more about the show, visit my website at letstalknutrition.com. That's letstalknutrition.com. Garka, host of Let's Talk Nutrition on this station. You can get more information about the show on my website at letstalknutrition.com. That's letstalknutrition.com. host of Let's Talk Nutrition on this station. You can get more information about the show on my website at letstalknutrition.com. That's letstalknutrition.com. Michael Garko, and you're listening to Let's Talk Nutrition on this station. If you want to find out more about the show, visit my website at letstalknutrition.com. That's letstalknutrition.com. Garko, and you're listening to Let's Talk Nutrition on this station. If you want to find out more about the show, visit my website at letstalknutrition.com. That's letstalknutrition.com. Nutrition is brought to you by Jaro Formulas, superior nutrition and formulation, natural factors where great health begins. 
Kyolic aging makes the finest garlic truly odorless. Celsius, live fit. Flora, 100 years of herbal wisdom. Let's Talk Nutrition on the web at letstalknutrition.com. We're back from the break, so let's rejoin Dr. Michael Garko. Uh, are you getting enough good quality sleep? That's the question. By the way, um, when you look at the science of sleep, you'll find uh, the, the recommendation, generally speaking, they'll say eight hours, um, six to eight. Uh, I, I always say six, I get by with six, seven is better, eight is great. When you start sleeping nine, 10, 11 hours, that also has uh, negative consequences on your health as well. Too much sleep is not good either. Okay? And that's not my opinion. That you'll find that documented in the literature. So not, you know, it's Goldilocks again. Not too hot, not too cold, you know, not too short, not too long. <laughs> it's trying to find that that sweet spot, that you know, the happy medium. I'm maybe mixing metaphors here, but you'll get you get my idea. Dr. Kate Roam is our guest talking about sleep today. And uh, it's a meritorious topic. It, it probably implicates a lot of people listening and watching the show. Um, here's how you can make contact. You can give us a call at 877-897-8255. That's 877-897-TALK. You can always email Dr. Garco personally. His email is drgarco at letstalknutrition.com. If you visit letstalknutrition.com, you'll find all of our past shows. They're sorted by date and title. Every single show, it's on there, letstalknutrition.com. We're also on Facebook. If you search Let's Talk Nutrition, we post a lot of our articles that we talk about throughout the show on there. So just search Let's Talk Nutrition. Make sure to like our page. We're also on Instagram at Let's Talk Nutrition. We post some quick videos and recipes there. And our live stream is also up on YouTube as well as Facebook as well. You can ask us questions on any of these platforms. Just send us a message and we'll get back with you. Always. Dr. Kate, welcome back. Uh, dietary, from a dietary supplement perspective, I mean, we mentioned tranquil sleep. We mentioned L-theanine. Uh, GABA could be another one that's part of that uh, natural factor stress relax line. Uh, any other supplements that could help people manage and do better with sleep? Magnesium. Mm. So it can really make a big difference in terms of sleep quality. Uh, to have a nice, relaxing, peaceful sleep, magnesium is, of course, very calming, helps lower blood pressure, relax muscles. Um, it is a factor if you're, you're having restless legs or leg cramps. I mean, it, that's restless legs is a whole other topic, but leg cramps certainly. Uh, magnesium is wonderful. I take it every night at bedtime. Hmm. Let's go to Tampa, Florida. Leilani, uh, welcome to the show. It's great to have you on. Well, I have to second that. I can't believe that that was just being said. It is magnesium. It is the number one thing that has helped me. It has helped and you. And it also, it also um, like that person was saying, relaxes you. It's the calming mineral. Yeah. All deficient. I don't care how great you eat. I eat amazing. You still don't get enough. You need what Dr. Carolyn Dean says is about six milligrams per pound of body weight. Even Epsom salt baths before bed will do wonders. Yeah. Uh, is this the first time you called the show? Yes. Yeah, because I don't. I don't. I have a pretty good memory, and I don't. That's a nice name, uh, Leilani. Oh, thank you. Am I saying it right? Yes, you are. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, and you have, uh, generally, uh, you sound like you're a relatively youthful uh, young person. Um, uh, you're, you, uh, is health, where is health on your priority list, and do you really keep it up there, and, or does it get pushed to the side? No, not at all. It is my number one priority, and there is never a reason to eat bad. You have to <laughs> prepare, and you have to make that your number one priority. If you want to be healthy and stay youthful, then you have to take care of yourself. Well, you're hardcore, like man. Else. You're. I can tell you, you. You don't give much quarter on this. Um, do you find that you become annoying to some of your friends? No, actually, actually, <laughs> honestly, I have so many people doing what I'm doing because they can hear it in me. They see me, and it's a. It it really is a difference. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. But it's, anyway, do you know? Do you know Dr. Carolyn Dean? No, I don't. I don't know. She wrote, she wrote the magnesium miracle. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yes. I do. So, okay, I'm and with. If you just 
type in magnesium deficiency, it's like 65 symptoms, and we're basically all deficient because of our food, wow. our soil. It's no longer in water. Everything's been stripped, so you have to supplement it. No, I, that's a great rec. You now, you just reinforced everything that Dr. Kate said, and uh, we, we, I like, I like the way you talk. You talk with such authority and confidence. That's good. You have, you know, you don't. There's no, uh, oh, you know, wishy-washy. You're right. You're right on no. it. And I, I, I sort of like that. That's good. Thank so, you. You no, call, call back, easy. call back anytime you want. Okay. Oh, thank you. Yeah. All right, doctor. Have a great day. Yeah, thank you for contributing to the conversation. There you go, Dr. Kate. She's pretty firm, right? <laughs> She's great. Yes, and I'm with her. I completely agree with Leilani. Magnesium is my desert island supplement. In other words, desert, desert island, island supplement. Desert island, one thing, that would be magnesium. Desert island supplement. Yeah, being on a desert island. Oh, jeez. Uh, <laughs> sometimes I would. It'd be good to be on a desert island for a couple of days. <laughs> so there you go. There's magnesium. Of course, Natural Factors has magnesium. They have magnesium until it's coming out of your ears, right? That's right. There is a powder form in the Stress Relax line if you like a drink, if you prefer that, or just straight uh, magnesium capsules. And, you know, there's lots of debate about what type of magnesium. I tend to stick with plain old magnesium citrate. It's inexpensive and effective. Uh, I know there's lots of more expensive forms of magnesium on the market, but I find it's quite consistent and you can't beat the value. Can't beat the value. You get eight hours every night? Most nights I do, yep. Really? Mm-hmm. Really? Jeez. I wish I could say that. I don't, I don't even remember the last time I did. I, you remember the last time I did because I came in and told you. So you guess did? what? Yeah. I, I said, guess what? I got eight hours of sleep. I can't read. I marked that down. <laughs> I think I did Monday. Monday, yeah. See, when you have to, yeah, Dr. K, you see that answer she gave? Yeah, I get eight hours. Yeah, when you have to think about it, when was the last time when, you know you're not, you know, you need to do better. Uh, I, I'm here so much. I, I try, I try I, to. Well, it's your job. Uh, I get it. Uh, are you on the road much, Dr. Kate? I am a fair bit, especially this fall. Quite a few trips. Uh, Vancouver, Texas, Florida. Looking forward to that. But lots of travel right now. Do you sleep well away from home? Generally pretty well away from home, but that is also time that I will absolutely not be without my tranquil sleep or um, you know something else to make sure I'm going to get that good night's sleep. Usually it's tranquil sleep and or magnesium. That's my go-to combination. Uh-huh. Doesn't, uh, doesn't melatonin help uh, set, reset the uh, circadian clocks, your biological clocks? Exactly, which is so important with jet lag to tell your body that it's not home time, it's wherever time you are, um, that to take that at bedtime really does help reset your circadian clock like you're saying and uh, deal with that jet lag okay when we come back i'll have the ltn health question of the day it'll have something to do with sleep you can i'll try not to put you to sleep you are listening and watching ltn coast to coast and globally want to get at the core issues that make weight loss so difficult try pgx from natural factors this revolutionary product is clinically shown to help people achieve their ideal body weight in a safe, natural way, PGX helps you feel full for hours, dramatically reduces the glycemic index of any food or meal, and ultimately causes the release of the compounds that achieve two important goals in weight loss. One, telling your brain that you're satisfied so you eat less, and two, improving the action of the hormone insulin. As medical doctor Mark Hyman said in his best-selling book, Eat Fat, Get Thin, if you choose to use only one supplement, PGX is the most important. If you've ever tried to lose weight and failed, you need the tremendous support of PGX from Natural Factors. For more information on making your weight loss dream a near effortless reality, visit PGX.com. 
Have you experienced the wisdom of nature with Zyflamend Whole Body from New Chapter? Zyflamend is a 10 herb blend that delivers three health benefits. First, Zyflamend is an herbal approach to pain relief, helping to soothe minor pain or soreness. Second, Zyflamend is a joint supplement with time-tested herbs to support joint function and flexibility. And the third benefit, Zyflamend supports the body's healthy inflammation response, something that's essential for maintaining whole body health. Zyflamend is New Chapter's clinically tested blend of 10 remarkable herbs, including pure and potent turmeric, ginger, and green tea. Zyflamend is non-GMO project verified, gluten-free, and 100% vegetarian. New Chapter is a leader in supplement quality. Every ingredient, every product, every time. Discover Zyflamen, New Chapter's number one selling multi-herbal. Zyflamen is made with ginger for occasional pain relief after exercise. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Everybody knows that it's easier said than done to take charge of your health. Now taking charge of your health has been made a little easier with Ancient Nutrition. Ancient Nutrition's whole food nutritional products provide ancient nutrients in a modern, convenient form to power the body and mind while restoring health, strength, and vitality comparable to that of our ancient ancestors. Among their healthy nutrition supplements, Ancient Nutrition offers a line of bone broth protein powders formulated for high performance. Bone broth is a breakthrough in protein supplementation. It delivers the benefits of homemade bone broth in a convenient, easy to mix form. Try all eight delicious flavors, dark chocolate, banana cream, cinnamon apple, salted caramel, pumpkin spice, s'mores, coffee, and French vanilla. Ancient Nutrition products are sold in fine health stores across the country. Visit ancientnutrition.com to learn more about Ancient Nutrition for a modern world. That's ancientnutrition.com. Michael Garka, host of Let's Talk Nutrition on this station. You can get more information about the show on my website at letstalknutrition.com. That's letstalknutrition.com. Let's Talk Nutrition on this station. If you want to find out more about the show, visit my website at letstalknutrition.com. That's letstalknutrition.com. Garka, host of Let's Talk Nutrition on this station. You can get more information about the show on my website at letstalknutrition.com. That's letstalknutrition.com. Talk Nutrition is brought to you by CV Sciences, from seed to shelf. Form Essentials, makers of the sleep aid Solace. Natural Factors, where great health begins. New Chapter, the benefit of nature's wisdom. Yerba Prima, pioneers in internal cleansing. Flora, 100 years of herbal wisdom. Let's Talk Nutrition, on the web at letstalknutrition.com. We're back from the break, so let's rejoin Dr. Michael Garko. Okay, so here's the LTN health question of the day. I gave you the answer earlier. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, what uh, percent of the population doesn't get enough sleep? One quarter, one third, or one half? Mm-hmm. What is it? One quarter, one third, or one half of the population 
uh, adult population does not get enough sleep. Here's the number to call. If you get the right answer, you'll win a $25 supplement gift card. 877-897-8255. That's 877-897-TALK. Dr. Kate, welcome back. Um, okay, so you're going to be traveling a lot in the fall, and you'll have your tranquil sleep, your L-theanine, you'll have your magnesium in your bag. <laughs> you'll be prepared. Um how do you manage, I ask you these questions because I get these all the time. When you're traveling like that, how do you manage to eat relatively healthy? What do you do? That's tough. That can be one of the most challenging things of being on the road is eating healthy. You know, I make the best choices that I can with what is available. And sometimes I may bring along, um, you know, certain things in my bag that I can add to my food, a little bit of ground flaxseed to bump up the fiber, always helpful during travel. Um, you know, you, you just, you, you make the best choices as you can while you're moving around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is, that is hard, isn't it? Um, tough stuff. I know. In, you know, I, if I get into a, if I go to a met major metropolitan city, I'll look for a Whole Foods, like we were in Baltimore for Expo East. There's a Whole Foods there. It was right near the hotel. Uh, you can go in there, and I'll get some fruit and things like that uh, you know, that I can take back to the room with me. I'll do that. Or I, I, I'll even eat something there, get soup, uh, whatever. Uh, I'll, if, if I get lucky enough to have Whole Foods or Sprouts or one of those bigger chains that will serve food. Uh, so, that, yeah, it is tough. Yeah, it's, it's not so easy. Not so easy. I'm just trying to... Go ahead. I definitely try to do that too. It's, I think it's getting a little bit better. I'm, you know, I've been impressed with even small changes of, you know, sometimes healthier choices you can have while you're on the go or on the planes, for example. Uh, mm -hmm. few, sometimes a little bit better options. But yes, if there's times that you can stop, um, you know, or even having a protein bar, packing that when there really is yeah. no other option but maybe muscles well, or Well, Natural Factors has that great uh, a, a plant-based protein bar. Uh, you know, the green packaging, the green pat wrapper on it. What's it called? What's that called? Do you know off the top of your That's head? That's right. The whole earth and sea, uh, greens, you know, protein and greens in the bar. Yeah. 15 grams of fiber. Uh, there's, it's all plant-based protein. It's delicious. And it also has, you know, your broccoli and your blueberries. And that is definitely a go-to. I've always got one of those in my bag when I'm traveling. Yeah. You take supplements with you? Of course. You do. Mm -hmm. Of course, I wouldn't travel without my supplements. <laughs> Let's go to, uh, it's Tampa again today. Let's go to Gwendolyn in Tampa. Gwendolyn, welcome to the show. It's great to have you on the air. All righty. Thank you so much. All right. So what's the answer? What percent of the population could get better sleep, according to the CDC, more sleep? Uh, a, quarter, a, a, a quarter, a third, or a half? Half. You want to say half? You, you want to reconsider that? Somewhere in the middle. It's somewhere in the middle. Uh, okay. A quarter, a third, or a half. Go ahead. Do okay, it again. a third. A third. Congratulations. You want a $25 supplement gift card. Yeah, you want to go for the bigger number. It's about a third. That's still a lot of people. Uh, you know, that's over 100 million people. Uh, you got 300-plus well, million people. I said that yeah. because I had an issue last night. You, you, I didn't sleep well. Oh, Sorry. So if you listen to today's show, you got some good recommendations from Dr. Kate, and uh, you might want to consider, you know, maybe getting some tranquil sleep. Uh, that that's a nice product. I know that product works. It it works 100. percent So, but thank you. Get some better sleep, and thanks for listening to the show. And congratulations. Thank you so much for all you do. Oh, it's my pleasure. It's an honor to do it. Thanks. All right, Dr. Kate. Uh, we're we're almost out of time. So. Well, maybe we'll see you in December uh, in studio. That would be something. Uh, you have a, we'll have you have some company. I understand if you come um, that that will be with you. So uh, uh, that would be so much fun. Oh, you have a good time. We have a good time around here. <laughs> I believe it. Uh, have you ever been to Tampa? I have not. You haven't. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I live in a part of town. It's called New Tampa. Uh, it's a ways. It's about about 45 minutes out from the station but it's beautiful up where i live um i live in a um it's a like a a preserve 
I'm, I'm surrounded almost 100, almost all the way around, except for the front of the house, by a natural preserve. You, you can't touch it, and it's a brand new development up in there. I just had the house built. It's beautiful. But wow. you pay. You have to. You have to travel in. It takes. <laughs> that's what you give up. You know. You gotta travel a little to get to work. Sure. But you'll like Tampa. Tampa's beautiful. It's a nice city. Other than the traffic, it's all good. So, we appreciate you. We appreciate you coming on. You're always prepared. You always have things to say, uh, and uh, not just things, but sensible, uh, database, evidence-based things to share with the audience. And I know they appreciate you. You're you're a fave around here. So so you know. Well, thank you very much. I really appreciate what you're doing for your listeners, and we always have fun. Yeah, we do. I still tell people about you. I said, you know, we had a guest. We've streamed her in one day, and she did the interview on a walking, uh, what was that, a treadmill? You... Right, my walking desk. Yeah. I tread my little slow treadmill with a desk on top. <laughs> I still remember that. It was pretty funny. <laughs> you still have that? You know what? I moved, and there really wasn't room for it in my oh, new office. I see. So I don't have my walking desk. Now. Uh-oh. Okay, well. I'm missing it. Well, I hope you have a good day today, what's left of it for you, and thanks again for coming on to the show. We appreciate it. You're welcome. Always a pleasure. You want, if you want to, uh, just do that. Just do a rundown of some of the products you mentioned from Natural Factors. Go ahead. Tranquil sleep for difficulty getting to sleep and staying asleep. And then there is the L-theanine to calm your mind any time of the day. Uh, something that works like that is the GABA, which is a little bit stronger for Focus, concentration, anxiety, feelings of nervousness, love that. As well as, of course, magnesium, which is available in a, in a powdered form as a drink or in capsules. Uh, wonderful, as, as Leilani called in to say, uh, for sleep, as well as relaxing muscles. It is an anti-stress mineral for sure. Thank you for that. Again, see you next time. Have a good day today, and uh, we'll, we'll see you around then, okay? Thanks. Take care. You do the same. And thank you for tuning in today, for listening and watching, wherever and however you may have done that. We are grateful uh, as we come to work because you're there. Your health is your wealth, and your health is the wealth of those that care about and love you. Take care of your health. <laughs>